What's up? I'm Elsa and today I'm going to show you what I keep inside of my kitchen in my 13 foot trailer. This is our kitchenette. You've probably seen it in several of our videos, but I've never showed you exactly what's inside. Behind door number one, I keep all of my coffee, my teas, and spices. I've got all kinds of different herbs that I use for flavor and that I also use for medicinal properties. This is hibiscus. I use ginkgo to help with my circulation problems. Calendula is a very good detoxifier and dandelion root helps for digestion. I use this handy dandy thing for coffee. I got it from my friend Stacy Judy. I've broken far too many French presses and now I make coffee in this. And I show you how in an article on my blog at elsaray.com slash blog, so check that out. In this bin, we keep essential oil sprays and essential oils. We have also got some delicious teas that we've received from friends. Next, we have our container of spices. Just gonna show you quick. Cayenne, garlic, salt, pepper, cinnamon, and nutritional yeast that I use as a Parmesan cheese substitute. I freaking love coffee. This is some local coffee from here in town. Some Vietnamese coffee from a friend who just visited and then some tea bags back in here. Behind door number two, we keep all of our dishes. A Nalgene water bottle, a clean canteen. These things are awesome to keep coffee and tea hot. A transportable silicone cup, a carabiner coffee mug, a stainless steel mug, and a plastic mug and bowl. We used to have two of these, but when friends come into town, sometimes things disappear. I have two plates and a cutting board beneath it. And then I have this awesome travel friendly utensil kit. This thing I got on Etsy, it's pretty cute. I just wanted to stop using plastic utensils. It's ridiculous. Once I realized how many I was using, like when I went to Chipotle and stuff, I just felt terrible. So I got this, it's bamboo utensils. It comes with a straw and a straw cleaner and some chopsticks. It has a reusable <laughs> napkin on the inside. Super cute. And behind door number three is our drawers full of miscellaneous stuff. In the bottom drawer, we have essential oils and eye drop. Next, we have our electronics drawer. We have some glue, some spare lighters that people have left here. And in the top drawer, we just have pens, sewing equipment, some carabiners, just some extra stuff. Next to that, we keep a lot of hand lotions, some climb on for climbing, some bugs away. I put this stuff in my hair. This is Kansas City local. Tiger Balm from Vietnam for when we're all stuffed up and need some menthol. And below those drawers, I keep the first aid kit. Inside of the first aid kit, I keep reflectors, sunscreen, band-aids, safety pins, any kind of thing we may need in case we got hurt. Up in the top corner, we like to recycle our rubber bands and twist ties. These things always come in handy. Then this guy up here, this little fork, is holding on to our water bladder. And this water bladder is how we brush our teeth, rinse things out. Um, it's a really super simple, pretty archaic <laughs> way to have a sink. This speaker we got from our dear sweet friend Molly Balloons. And speaking of friends behind here, I have this beautiful mountainscape from my friend Stephen Huckabee with Oak and Mortar. It looks beautiful, we still haven't found a way to hang it up, but soon. And then here we have this rack that we got from Ikea. It's actually very helpful. We just drilled it right into the fiberglass and it holds this tray. Then in this guy we have our utensils. This can opener, scissors, strainer that I use for tea and coffee sometimes. We've got like two of each utensil, two knives, two forks, three chopsticks. And in here, this is our fruit basket. It's nice to keep our fruits and vegetables out in the open so that we remember to eat them before they go bad. This gorgeous countertop was made by Josh Glisson from Dust City Designs. I filmed the entire process of how he did it, how he measured it, how he put it in. If you wanna see that, let me know. I haven't uploaded it just because I didn't know if there'd be any interest. But it was a really cool thing, and Josh, you are a rock star. Moving down below this shelf, I made a video of it. I built out of aspen sticks with Baron. Check it out. In this bin, we keep some of our extra utensils, glass jars, whatever we need to hold our snacks and stuff. And in this guy, we've got all of our sauces, salad dressings, olive oil. Next to that, we keep our two and a half gallon water jug, I believe. We fill up this guy from our six gallon water jug that's actually in the back of the Mini Cooper right now, getting filled up with water. And in the bin below, we have food. 
I'm not going to go super into this. If you would like to know exactly what types of foods we keep in the scamp, I would be more than happy to make a video of it for you. On the side here, I keep things I don't access regularly. I've got some flour back there, pasta, and crackers. Then back behind here, we have a bunch of wires. This is the old breaker that we don't use anymore because we're completely off-grid now. This to the left, I believe, used to be from the fridge or the heater, both of which we've gutted, and we're now just plugging them with what we have, unsure as to if we're going to reconnect them. Next to that, I have my emergency pee cup that I don't use very often, but just in case. I just have some dog vitamins up here just because it's a place to put it. Uh, I'd like to get this area a little bit more clean and nice looking. Maybe some doors or some curtains up here just so that we can cover all of this stuff up. If you have any ideas, please feel free to let me know. Below the wheel well, we have our trash can. We have a very small trash can because it encourages us to not produce very much trash. So we buy things that don't have a lot of packaging, etc. Next to that, I keep my MSR Pocket Rocket 2. I bought this stove just because it was so difficult to use the BioLite every time I wanted to boil some water. So I use this mostly for tea and for coffee, which seemed to be a very big part of my life. And we keep this giant water thermos down here. We put our tea and our coffee in this when we're going on long distance travels. Next to that, I keep Camp's water bowl and I keep this Stanley thermos thing. This is how I boil all of my water. And right up here, we've got our Yeti cooler that I just got on Craigslist for half its original cost. It was brand new. We usually keep this outside when we're here, but we keep it inside the scamp when we are not here because people like to thieve which is a very extraordinary bummer. Right now we have some hard boiled eggs, cauliflower, some lettuce, and a beer <laughs> somewhere in there. And this works great as our fridge. So this is our outdoor kitchen. We try very hard to keep everything looking very nice and organized when we're parked in campsites, just so that, I don't know, it's nicer for the people around us, it's nicer for us. It makes us look like um, we're not moving in, you know. In this bin, Keep all of our outdoor cooking stuff. We've got this big bowl that we'll rinse out and use for salads, some storage containers, paper towels, other dishes, our BioLite kettle. This thing is awesome, wood burning, love it. And then whenever we have bags that have zippers, we like to save them and we always end up reusing them so those extra bags get placed here. Beside that, we keep a little container full of wood that we use for our BioLite believe it or not, but it rains. And oftentimes all these twigs and branches and stuff are far too wet to be lit. So we house them in here. Uh, we keep this bin mostly for storage as we are moving the scamp. It also works nice to put this bin on top of this when we need more counter space out here. And underneath that, we just keep our bug sprayer full of water. This thing helps us clean our dishes. And when we are not by a water source like a river or a creek, that thing does the job very nicely. So there you have it. I hope that was informational enough, but not too extensive. If there's anything else you'd like to know or you'd like to see inside of the scamp, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.